But the other important aspect that I've had a, an experience of recently is alcohol and what a role alcohol plays in society and my goodness, wow, what an eye opener that was. I mean, I'll start first by saying that um, not so long ago I did actually get invited to a function, a social, sociable function, function that I didn't want to miss. And, uh, and I thought, I'd, you know, I'd be on a level with everybody, with my mates that I ain't seen for a while and I will, you know, I'll drink alcohol. But I thought, I ain't risking having, you know, I didn't want to drink beer, get made from wheat for one. I didn't want to be drinking Cokes and whatever, lemonade, so I had vodka and water. Um, it's not the nicest drink. Um, but yeah, I thought it's my safest bet, you know what I mean? I've not actually experienced alcohol in its raw essence before and actually observed, you know, since I've been more conscious, um, I haven't really drank alcohol at all. Uh, maybe the odd glass of wine, but that's it. And, uh, and I found myself out on this social night and, you know, I had a few vodkas and waters and obviously I've drank alcohol before so I'm well aware of how it makes you feel so I wasn't really focusing on that but, but I don't think I was able to because your consciousness becomes so much more reduced under the influence of um, alcohol and you can sort of see people that can actually drink themselves to the point of being unconscious you can actually see that that does happen so you definitely are less conscious through the effects of alcohol there's no doubt about it so I probably never even was aware you know I had the uh, ability to be aware of how I was feeling or, or what I was going through but but obviously the next day you know and I, I've always known that you get a hangover with it and I did nothing major I went that drunk but I felt a bit groggy bit of a headache, bit of a dicky stomach, just generally not feeling great, which you can cope with if it lasts for half a day or something, which is, you know, generally what it lasted for half a day and then I was physically back to normal. Um, but then what I noticed was for about four days afterwards I was anchored to a negative vibration and it wasn't anything else, it wasn't food or, you know, it wasn't the, the mixer or anything else that I drank, it was just alcohol, just the vodka, um, anchored me negatively for, for a good period of time, so I thought, okay, that's enough now for me to never want to drink alcohol again. Um, and because I'd been out of this social do, I got invited to another one, the same group of friends, and I thought, do you know what, I'm not being a hermit, I'm, I'm going to still partake in this reality to the best of my ability, you know what I mean, but I'm not going to drink alcohol <coughs> because I don't want to be affected by it, simple as that. Mm. So I drank nothing but water all night and what an eye opener that was, mm. by gosh, to witness that environment first hand in full consciousness was an eye opener, a massive, massive eye opener. I mean, people's, people really do lose the grasp of reality when they're drunk. I mean, the blokes are just pairing on all the women, the women are all being a bit more, you know, they know the blokes are all looking at them. Um, people's egos start to become inflated and it's all about, look at me, and they over-exaggerate their laugh and, you know, start shouting and being loud and, and yeah, just watch people slowly slip further and further into more and more unconscious behaviour was, was quite entertaining. And uh, yeah, it, it, it was very entertaining, but, but then when we got to the nightclub, it, it, it put a whole new dimension, a whole new spin on it. And there's, there's it, people are just, I mean, we're already like, under a lot of pressure, so it don't take a great deal for people to start flipping out, but mix, put, throw into the mix unconscious behaviour. And um, all it takes is like a bit of um, someone's danced into your dancing territory, and that's it. There's pushing and shoving, and there's you know, there's, there's scuffles and fights, and it's, it is mad. It is absolutely mad, but the other aspect of that night that really stuck out to me more than anything else was the music and the programming in the music. 
and um, I mean I, I, I can't actually sit here and think of any examples because it's not something I really want to embed into my consciousness but, but the type of music they're playing and the rep repetitive um, songs that everybody's happily singing along to and dancing to in, in an in in, in a, in a, in a, uh, alcohol induced trance are becoming more embedded into their psyche I should imagine and uh, yeah that was a, that was uh, very obvious, very obvious. The music is playing a key role in this society, and so is alcohol. Uh, well, every component. We're, we're immersed in this machine.